Okay, today I'm going to put Minix Freaks ATV ROM onto this box. The uh, B-Link GT King Pro. So, the only thing I need is a mail-to-mail -mail USB cable. Like this one here. But I also have one that I've made a long, long time ago. And I've put a lot of different firmwares using this uh, cable here. So that's the one I'm going to use today because I know it works 100% of the times. Sometimes the store-bought one doesn't work. Don't know why. Maybe it's coincidence. So that's the only thing I need is a mail-to-mail -mail USB cable. The power has to be plugged into it. And I do not need to uh, uh, use a reset hole. This one has a reset button inside that hole on the motherboard. But we do not need to use that to put this on here. So the only thing I need to do is put the power into it simultaneously as I plug the USB uh, pl uh, plug into the OTG port. Now one of these, this one right here, says OTG. So that one, we have to plug that one in. At the same time, I plug the power in right here. So I got to do that simultaneously, and then it will start uh, updating the firmware. So I'll go ahead and show you that in just a second. But that's what I need to do. Okay, this is where we're going to get the firmware, right here. Minix Freak, it's on Freak tab, and here's his link. Click on the link, and these are all his ports. Boy, he's got a lot of them, doesn't he? So anyway, this is a S922. We're going to click on that folder. Okay, there's the King, and here's the King Pro that we want right there. So, and here's a... a King Pro version 3, revision 2. So we're going to take this one right here because of the simple fact that this one might be revision 2. Uh, B-Link made a hardware change, and I don't want to uh, brick this device. So we're going to get that one right there because this is the older model. So we'll go ahead and download that, and then we'll install it. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, now we're going to burn the image that we just downloaded to the device. So, first thing we need to do is load the image that we just downloaded. We're going to load that. Okay, now that image is loaded into the tool. We're using USB burning tool version 2.1.6.8. Uh, we want to use erase flash the normal erase erase the bootloader these other two do not check especially do not check this one here because we're running a white vine level one on this box if we check that and click start we will overwrite it so we do not want to do that so we'll go ahead and click start and we will be ready okay what we're going to do now as i said earlier we're going to plug it into the otg port otg which is here now, we're not going to plug it in all the way yet. Now, here is the power, DCN. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to try to put them in at exactly the same time. So, I'm going to be pushing both of them in at the same time. And it'll take about three or four seconds, and we'll hear the computer say, beep. Okay, here we go. They're plugged in. Okay, now that one I had to push the power button. So now it's uh, loading. Okay, there it is. Downloading logo. Still loading. It takes about 3, 3.15 a little over three minutes to uh, install it. So right now it's 23% system download. So I'll go ahead and pause it and wait till it gets done. Hey, Dad. Okay, we got it. It burned. It took three minutes and 56 seconds. That's longer than it normally takes, but it's done. So let's go ahead and click stop. 
and then we can disconnect it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the power and the USB cable. Now we're going to take it over to the TV and plug it in and see what it looks like. Okay, we have it installed and we have it pretty much set up. So the device is Poison TV GT King Pro. And it's using version 9, Android version 9. And kernel version, October 17th, 2019. Now the build, it shows unknown. So I'm not sure what the build date is on that. Okay, here's some of the apps that I put on here. Uh, the HD Home Run. Now that is a uh, live TV or recorded TV. So that's what that is. Here's my recordings. Now, when you hit the home button a couple times, this comes up, so you hit clear. MB. Now, this is a media player. It uses a, a client. This is a client from my server uh, that's on one of my micro PCs. And so what this is, an aggregate of all my media, movies, TV shows, recordings, live TV, home videos, etc. Okay, uh, we'll continue watching. So anyway, that's MB. YouTube, obviously. This is what the version of YouTube looks like. Now, uh, Cody, movies, TV shows, Ada 64, put that on there, manufacturer. Again, it's poison. Board KV IM3. So apparently he he took this port from that uh, VM VM3. Am logic. The CPU. Display. Network. Android devices, thermal, very low, very low for that thermal. Uh, apps, Codex, abundance of Codex, so it supports almost everything. Directories, system files, about. So that's Ada. Now let's go back over here. Now let's see if we've got, uh, yes, DRM info. Again, uh, where is it? Yeah, down toward the bottom. So it could, it maintained the Widevine DRM L1. Now this one, I'm got it hooked up to uh, uh, just a 1080p TV. This is not a 4K. So it only shows uh, HDC, maximum AD, HDCP of level 1. And when I put it on my 4K TV, it'll be 2.2. .2. So I just want to show you that. Um, these are the different apps that it comes with. Of course, obviously, some of them I added. As soon as I log into the uh, uh, Google, it downloads those apps. Whether I want them to or not, it downloads them and puts them on there. So anyway, that's what I want to show you there. So... And again, this, this app there, that gives you the uh, uh, frequency change. So the fr frame rate, it automatically changes the frame rate. So that's what that's for. So anyway, that's the overview that I wanted to give you, and it is fast. This is based on that AmLogic S922 system on a chip, and it is fast. So that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much.